This is the most exclusive stuff I have ever bought in Flywheel. The mighty monster mega Mercedes-Benz Arox 8x8 SLT with a load carrying capacity of up to 250 tons. It's an amazing beast. Welcome to Flywheel. This Arox is the sibling of Actros, the flagship truck. Arox is meant to be on the other end of Actros, which is like construction vehicles, off-roadability. And here in this case, a very special truck, which is made on order according to the requirement of the customer. It could be a defense, it could be oil field, it could be prime mover, anything. But the thing is, it is the one of the strongest truck Mercedes makes. And it is meant to pull a weight of 250 ton. Just assume 250 ton means 10 normal Bharat Benz trailers in one truck. Amazing, isn't it? Let's check out the truck in detail now. Mercedes Benz have a very long heritage of making super heavy prime movers. The new generation are known as SLT, which is actually a short form of super heavy transport in German. There are two model variants in the latest SLT, which is Actros SLT and Arox SLT. The Actros SLT are mostly meant for heavy haulage for on-road purpose. These are trucks come with air springs and Arox are meant for on and off-road purpose and these are trucks comes with leaf spring. Engine, transmission, turbo retarder clutch, everything remains the same. But there are differences in drive configurations in both these trucks. The Actros SLTs are available as 6x4 and 8x4. Arox SLT are available as 6x4, 8x4 and 6x6, 8x6 and the one which we are driving today 8x8 configuration. Both the trucks are ordered according to the operator's requirements. In some cases, this goes to extreme level, like for oil field and defense purpose. In such conditions, the all-wheel drive configuration, like the one which we are testing today, comes into place. The SLT range of trucks have a load carrying capacity of 250 ton at a speed of 80 km per hour. These are legal limits except according to the transportation rule of various countries. If there is an option, these trucks are capable enough to pull a weight of 500 ton not like a snail, but on a highway speed. Only thing to consider is a stronger fifth wheel and heavier couplings. And there are countries which use single prime movers to pull loads around 500 tons. Anyway, I'm sharing you guys some photos of a record heavy haulage which happened in Germany. A 500 ton Russian space shuttle Buran was transported to Munich Technical Museum with a single prime mover. The body of the Buran is 500 ton and the wings are separately transported in different trucks. I assume now you know what SLT is really meant for. Arabs carry the same design philosophy of their flagship truck Actros, but it has got its own identity. Basically, it looks more rugged and it's got a lot of element which is for the Arox. First of all, the grill. There's the same grill treatment on the Actros, but it's a mild one with a smiley face but here is a very rough tough looking face with a huge um, cutting over here for the uh, that off-roader kind of look huge Merc logo is there but here in this black dot especially for the military purpose they used to black out all the glossy part and there's an illumination over here which I'll show you in another clip huge headlight it's a halogen here because in more depth are actually still with the halogen lights and you can see the fog lamp over here a guard is a huge front portion you can see Arox log, everything is blacked out. All the things over here are too heavy, too strong, bold. If there's a step which can climb, we used to climb the clean the glasses, but it's too high. And there is a different cabin options also available. In this case, it's an L cabin. There's a mega cabin, giga cabin, S cabin, everything is there. But in this case, it's an L cabin, but you can't actually fit the giga cabin in this because it's already around two floor height. And if it's a giga cabin, it'll be more than that. So in that case, they stick on to the L cab. And it's an amazing thing, it's one thing about the truck, in short, is it looks monstrous and mega. That's what I really had to say about this truck. Ha, I am so happy the dream came true. So actually it's a very long prime mover, it's just a prime mover if you want to attach a 
trailer. It will be much longer. This itself is around 7 meter long with 3 wheel base. I'll explain what the 3 wheel base are. But again, I have to show you first thing, the size of the tire. I am 5'8 and you can see how big the tire is. Actually, it's a 20 inch rim, but the profile is so big. There are two types of tires in this truck. The front is a narrow one. Rear is a wider one because you're actually avoiding two tires for the rear. You're having single tire to avoid getting stuck in this off-road condition like in the desert and mostly all the oil field truck use such broad tires in this case you can see it's all jam packed everything well packed not a single space is left unused it's all fully packed now i'll tell you the three wheelbase the first wheelbase is actually the first axle to second axle 1.75 meter second to third three meter third to four is 1.45 meter so actually this is a eight wheel drive configuration one two front axles which are steerable there's actually 8 by 8 by 4 which means two axle can be steered this is the two axle which is steered and both are drivable and these are the two one which is drivable not steerable but again that gives more power to the road and here you can see everything jam-packed here's a cooling and extra tanks which I'll explain later so all jam-packed add, add blue tank is here you can see the suspension system it's an inverse relief which is very heavy and the other suspensions are there it's all jam-packed and it's one thing I can say is that we won't see such a truck in India. Even in our military, we don't have such a truck. There are other configurations, but nothing like this. It's one of its kind and it's a very unique one. Instead of getting onto the rear, I actually climbed out over here to show some major things, which are one is this fifth wheel. Fifth wheel is where you normally attach the trailer and according to the heaviness of this fifth wheel you can decide what load you have to carry. Officially it can carry up to 250 ton but unofficially if you have a bigger fifth wheel and huge couplings the air truck is capable of carrying a load of to 500 ton which is done in some places like Brazil which is legally allowed which I'll explain you later and here you can see a lot more elements first is the two tires you can see the narrow one which is used in the front two axle the broader one which is used in the rear two axle you can see is broad enough to avoid two tires which is essential in such uh, off-road condition like in the desert and you can see it's a huge chassis it's a very strongly reinforced chassis it can carry a lot of load which I already told you and here there are a lot of, lot of elements like the tanks air filter cooling system which are all meant for the carrying huge load and a very remote place for a long distance and this has got three diesel tank with a total fueling capacity of 1700 liters so you don't have to stop a lot when you do a long commuting there are a lot of other air tanks you can see because it need a lot of hydraulics normally we see three or four on the normal trucks we are here some there are eight to ten <laughs> air tanks which are placed over here and the most important thing over here is on the right side of the truck which is the cooling system because it need extra cooling to use this heavy uh, high pressure engine it can be commuted even at a, a hot uh, climate of 50 to 55 degrees without stopping the truck so you need an extra cooling system there's radiator and other cooling system over here then uh, there are two huge winches which having a huge broad rope which can again ca pull out a lot of heavy stuff and this truck the same truck has been used in last Dakar rally not the 2021 2020 Dakar rally as a rescue vehicle and they had done rescue for more than 100 vehicles no matter it's a truck or a small van it has done a great rescue job and it is a real beast and you can see what I mean the SLT range of Mercedes-Benz trucks both Actros SLT and Aerox SLT are not normal truck so it is not built in a regular manner. These trucks are initially conceived in the world's largest truck plant, which is a Mercedes truck plant in Worth. And later it is taken onto Mercedes Custom Trailer Truck Division in Molsheim, France. Custom Trailer Truck Division, which is called CTT, is specialized in customizing truck according to a customer requirement. Even though SLT is the most common among these customization, they make various kinds of trucks. Some of the customized trucks which they make over here are fire engines, airport trucks, military trucks, recovery vehicle, agriculture trailers, etc. And anyway, these trucks are not mass produced and need proper customer interaction to make one. Hence, CTT interact with the customer and understand their exact need and customize these trucks according to their requirement. They customize the truck according to the condition where the truck gonna work and required tire suspension system, everything is chosen. 
The best part about CTT is that you will get all the warranties like in a regular Mercedes truck. And since they have a system of filing all the data, you can service and maintain these trucks at any age. So this one is actually Arox 4663 SLT. SLT means super heavy transporter in Germany. And 46 is 46 tonner with this prime over you can pull 46 plus addition trailer you can pull up to 250 ton and 63 means 625 HP engine because after 5 like it's already count as 3 like 62 is not counted it's 63 is counted so this 46 63 there are various configuration up to 48 63 in this Arox. So for the prime over it comes as 48 63 and less 2 means more fast more speed for military purpose especially on this deserts that's that's why minus 2 for the 48 this is 46 but again this is the top end spec for an Arox SLT. This is inbuilt for deflating and inflating the tires you have this in six numbers two in the front for both the two tires and two each for the rear tires that's total six. So it's a huge truck big truck so you need to clean the glass you need steps right so this is how we do there's a lock over here, unlock it, one step, second step and third step is to climb, okay, now I can clean it. Don't you want to see the engine? So we can tilt this huge mega cabin, just need to open the hood first with the grill over and there is a mechanical system here and there can be remote also. On this case, it's a military truck, it's a rough vehicle, so we can do it mechanically here with the touch of a button and uh, there is lock here which can tilt up, tilt down, both can be done here, I'll show you. So this is the steering rod coming from the cabin, you can see there's a joint over there, there's a second joint because it's tiltable and this is a computer unit which actually uh, make the steering more precise, nimble, light because it's a heavy vehicle, it's got a huge tyre, it is plied on off-road so in that condition you need precision and softness to handle it well and this helps that out. So this is a huge heart of this truck, it's a 16 litre inline 6 cylinder turbo diesel engine with an output of 625 HP and 3000 nm of torque and it's not all it's having a huge gearbox but the most important thing here is something between the engine and the gearbox which is called turbo retarder clutch basically it's an hydraulic clutch it actually supports this truck to move heavy stuffs in a very low speed and an addition it can produce up to braking horsepower of 1000 hp which is very essential for a prime mover which i'll explain you in detail and how it functions with the company stock footage. These trucks are powered by Mercedes own built OM473 diesel engine. It's a 16 litre inline 6 cylinder which produces 625 HP power and 3000 Nm of torque. This engine is Euro 6 compliant. Mercedes also provide Euro 5 compliant engines for some countries. These engines are mated to PowerShift 3 which is the world's first 16 speed automated manual transmission. This transmission comes with two ratios and most attractive thing is it's got four reverse speed in two ratios. For a novel drive truck like which we are driving today, SLD come with a heavy transfer case with diff locks. In case of our 8x8, the diff locks are available on all the axles. With a shift on the fly rotary switch on the dashboard, you can select these locks in three different stages and in total you'll get seven diff locks. These are trucks which are meant to pull heavy loads. To explain it with a small physics, the potential status of this heavy load can be moved with a kinetic energy which is produced from this heavy engine. Once it's on move, you can build up speed with a powerful engine. But the crucial thing is while braking. It's a heavy load. So just with the wheel brakes, it is quite challenging to stop such a heavy load in a small distance. So we use engine braking. Engine braking gives a lot of pressure on the clutch which will burn out. Hence Mercedes has introduced a smart technology called Turbo Retarder Clutch which is a hydraulic clutch system which support engine and gearbox in this case. This system helps to produce a braking horsepower of 1000 HP which is one of its kind in the industry right now. So let's check out separately what is Turbo Retarder Clutch. Turbo Retarder Clutch 
or TRC. It's a unique additional hydraulic clutch which is placed between the engine flywheel and the gearbox. It's functioned by filling oil into this chamber. While you engage TRC, the chamber get filled with the oil, reduce the load from the engine and control the torque to the gearbox as per driver's control on the paddle. The turbo rotor clutch is a supportive element to enhance the performance of engine with load wear and tear and less burn of clutch. This performed in two manner and can be controlled in three stages with the gear selection lever. In case of heavy haulage, SLT trucks. Turbo retarder clutch helped in initial movement with heavy loads, especially on an incline. It will support the engine and deliver the power to all the drive axle without burning the clutch. And during the braking time, TRC also support the power train by disengaging the engine from the gearbox and controlling the gearbox movement, bring the heavy load to a standstill. During this time, even though engine output is 625 HP, with the help of turbo retarder clutch, the braking power enhanced to 1000 HP. In case of trucks like the tipper, it helps the tripper on a control movement. For instance, the truck is on a steep incline and driver want to stop, you don't have to press the brake. You can engage the turbo retarder clutch and control the acceleration on the pedal. And if you want to reverse it, you can do it in a very controlled manner, even without engaging the reverse gear, just by releasing the pedal with the momentum. And if you want to restart on the climb, set gain can be done just pressing the pedal. It can move without rolling behind. It's an amazing technology developed along with Voith, and it is the technical backbone of SLT range of trucks. So it is the interior of the new Arox truck, one of the most luxurious interiors in any truck because you know this truck is actually one of the flagships of Mercedes trucks actually based on the Actros and Actros is having one of the best interior in any of the trucks and it is highly customizable. It's unlike the cars, you can choose to customize it from various level, from the cabin size up to the individual settings in the cabin. You know, this is a demo truck, it's the one of its kind in the world, only one such demo truck is which is taking around the world for the customers, defense, everybody. So they are actually configured in a L cabin, which is a large cabin, but not with a berth, sleeping berth, but with two seats. So front two seat plus rear four seats, which can uh, actually on move, we can sit with four people in the cabin. But the seat and the steering are all amazing, I'll tell you in detail. And this uh, cabin can be configured from inch to inch because if you select the right size from the small to any kind of cabin up to the mega or giga cab, giga means the huge cab, uh, but that doesn't come for the 8x8, eight eight. big uh, cabin it is, so it is too high. But in that case, it will be a fl flat floor on inside the cabin. But this is again a very customizable interior with highly customizable options. From the steering, you can have a leather wrapped or wood steering, or you can have leather uh, upholstery, you can have a fabric upholstery, you can choose the color. Everything can be customized. But one thing which I have to highlight initially is the refinement in the cabin. Actually, the engine is on right now, and you would feel like in any of the Mercedes cars. It's highly refined, it's luxurious. Couple of things I again want to mention is the way we can adjust this uh, in the driver's position because Mercedes make the trucks for the drivers and make one of the best cabins because they want their driver to be in the most comfortable and safest way. So they have configured the truck's cabin or they are actually made the ergonomics so well that it is everything around the driver from everything is hand reachable. First thing for first, the steering can be adjusted telescopically and tilt can be tilt uh, electrically. There's a button near your clutch pedal or dead pedal area which can press and you can adjust this, tilt it telescopically. You can keep it and you can keep it even like this if you want to get out easily. So I'm putting it in my position. This is like this and it's hydraulically controlled. Seat also can be adjusted with hydraulically. This I lifted. Uh, adjusted according to my weight and if you want to adjust more you can do it manually see you can adjust it and you can even sleep in this cabin very com I mean, seat comfortably you can adjust in any way there is a handrest for both sides so if you're on a highway you can drive it like this it's all very comfortable everything is on hand reach there is a knob here to control the 
diff locks where it's like this is a 8 by 8 so there is three controls one is for the central diff lock which once you engage the all the, um, the the top power will be distributed from rear to front into the transfer case and against the second one the both the rear axle means the four wheel get locked and you can get more traction and if you're in the extreme condition you can engage the third one where the front also the front four wheel also will be locked so it will be like seven diff lock seven diff lock and if you are in that condition you're not going to step anywhere and you can even pull huge load up to 250 ton interior of actress and aerox trucks are highly customizable you can customize it from the core unlike we customize the passenger car according to usage you can choose various kinds of cabins the top end one is giga cab which is available only on actress range rest of the cabins can be opted for both the models according to the drive configuration in case of all-wheel drive trucks, you won't be able to choose higher cabin as the higher ground clearance may cross the height limit. These cabins are very modern. As mentioned, it's also comfortable and very luxurious. You can customize it according to your requirement. You can even customize it with the various kind of trims. And if you want exclusivity, you can even opt wood trim. The seat configuration also can be customized. There are options for single and double sleeper berth in the cabin. It will be very comfortable for long distance truck drivers to take a nap after a long drive. The interior color of the truck also can be choose according to your choice. There are a long list of options available on these trucks. So now I don't think it's the time in the interior. Let's check out. <laughs> It was a great day. I was so lucky enough that I had this Aerox SLT for an entire day. And it was an experience which I was looking forward for years. So I was so thrilled. We chose to shoot and drive this mega monster in Dubai half desert. As there is a mix of tarmac and desert so that we can experience both. In a Gulf country like Dubai, it's always the desert which is an off-road experience we normally used to get. Hence, we experience both. As part of the familiarization of the truck, we had an initial training and understanding drive before we shot. And Mercedes-Benz Middle East training driver Navin was helping me out to understand the Aerox SLT. In that drive itself, I was able to understand one thing about this truck. As I normally quote for G-Wagon and S-Class, one statement is common here. It's an effortless machine. No matter how big and heavy it is, it's very effortless to maneuver and drive. Even though it's a prime mover, we didn't have a trailer attached to prime mover on the day one. But even without that, I was able to understand the character of the truck, which is it is ready for any big challenge. These are trucks which are built to use in extreme in all means, even at a very high temperature. It was giving me high confidence when we are experiencing it and driving it around for an entire day. Even though it's a workhorse, it's a very ultra refined and ultra modern truck. As you know, it's a super heavy workhorse, but on the other hand, it's also a fun machine. SLT range of Mercedes trucks are used for various applications, but these trucks are common in heavy haulage industry. These are transporters who carry super heavy equipments like transformers, generators, heavy Marana engines, and huge construction equipments. In these cases, various kinds of multi-axle trailers are attached to these prime movers and carry these heavy goods. The trailers are either attached to fifth wheel or through the coupling. According to European condition, these trucks are allowed to carry loads of up to 250 ton, which are the common transport rule in these countries. In the heavy haulage industry, mostly this limit exceeds. In that case, mostly two prime movers are used as push and pull system. The number of primers also increase according to the weight of the load. But this permissible weight of 250 ton is actually meant for such countries like in Europe. Anyway, there are countries who have more permit allowed, like for example, Brazil. In Brazil, the permissible weight for single prime mover is actually 500 ton. And these SLT range of truck of Mercedes, both Actros and Arox, can even pull up to 500 ton. You just need to make sure that the fifth wheel and the coupling are matching for those requirement. And these are the time where you can actually pull out the full potential of these trucks. So what I'm driving right now actually on the dunes uh, I don't want to go to Dalmac with this truck because this can take any kind of terrain 
ultra comfortably without any hassle it's like we are taking all the dunes this way yeah this is how i'm taking a huge truck over the dan sand dunes with all comfort <laughs> You know, if you are if you are using this as a defense vehicle, it will be mostly pulling huge mega hundred ton tanks with a trailer. So one thing to be careful is the trailer, which won't have a drive. So you need to pull all that weight. But this prime mover can take it like anything. <laughs> Just you maneuver on your right track, you won't get stuck because you have so much of differential locks, so much of controls on the four-wheel drive system or maybe the all-wheel drive system. So this sound you can see, extra sound is that extra cooling, which is there on the behind, which you've seen, is working on to cool this engine because we are running in a very hot climate. So that actually is the advantage of having such a cooling system. You won't get stuck. because the engine and the gearbox is hot and you also have something called the turbo retarder clutch which i explained is actually a supportive element for such truck in such extreme conditions the arox which we drove today is actually a prime mover head unit so we also had a drive experience with the trailer but since it was a day two and we had to cover zetros and attigo we were not able to shoot much but anyway i am sharing some glimpses trailer attached to this aerox slt in this visual are meant to carry military tanks the trailer itself is heavy and in addition an 80 to 100 ton military tank will be carried easily over deserts and i have seen some videos of such mercedes trucks which are used for military purpose Unfortunately, I'm not sharing that we should hear. Time being, let's enjoy the Arox with the trailer. So we are now driving on your off-road the sand dunes of this golden desert of Dubai. So friends this is my best experience in my auto life to have this monstrous 8x8 Mercedes Arox SLT over the dunes one of its kind truck and one of my best experience this mega 250 tonner in dunes with me in an amazing day one of the best hope you guys enjoyed it if you really liked it please do like it and share it and if you yet to subscribe please do subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get all the update as soon as we do the videos bye i let me go for the last spin <laughs>